All right, good morning squad. Sunscreen is on. Backpack is light, AKA slack packing. Coles or MIA. I'm gonna hop this fence. It is 10 a.m. and I am gonna do something insane. Um, so it's currently 10 a.m. I am about to do a 24 hour challenge across this here basin. I'm gonna run or fast hike. So you already know what it is, what it does, what it is, what it is to come. Um, I don't know what that was. Um, but yeah, so I feel good. I just have a bunch of pro bars back here and that's pretty much it. So yeah, I guess there's only one thing left to do and that's start the clock. So 10 a.m., 24 hour challenge. The basin is 120 miles. Yeah, we can do it all in 24 hours, great. If not, we're just gonna keep it going and see where it goes. So this is part one of the 24 hour challenge. Let's do this. One hour in, 4.3 miles. Um, It's hot. Um, I've been doing a lot more walking than I thought. Also, I'm not quite used to my new shoes yet because I had to get new shoes because I did not trust my Lone Peak Ultras to get me through this. Um, so yeah, um, a lot of walking, um, but hey, it's a 24 hour challenge. The goal is just to see how many miles I can do in 24 hours. Um, so yeah, the only bump, bad part about it is if I get stranded out here, I'm stranded out here, you know? I do have my Garmin, I do have some cell phone service there should be more as i get closer to rollins obviously so i don't know but we're one hour in we're a little bit over than four miles in um obviously to get across the basin i would have to average five so um and the entire basin in a day would be nice in 24 hours would be nice but like I'm not gonna kill myself to do it. Um, I got a long ways to go, so I'm pacing myself. So I'll check back in in an hour. If it's windy, I'm sorry, but it's noon and I have gone eight and a half miles. Hour two complete. Um, the split was just 4.1, so still averaging above four miles per hour which is good. Um, I'm starting to feel it. I just had a pro bar, one of many. Um, and yeah, um, this, it was like a bit of a bushwhack over a ridge, but I did it and now I'm on this road for a hot minute. So that should be good. Um, and I really don't feel like running down this road, so I might walk it for a little bit, but I'm gonna try to keep up my pace at four miles per hour. Um, so we'll see what happens, but yeah. All right, so another hour and another four miles, and I'm still on this road, so see you in another hour. All right, guys, I have made it to mile 16 and a half. Um, I'm at this creek or river getting water. Um, Last split was 3.9, so I am slowing down a bit, but I'm still going, even though my hips are starting to hurt a little, but yeah, um, just getting water. I have a platypus quick draw for this, so I really changed up my gear for this. Um, I think I might do a little bit of caffeine in the hair to just keep the engine running, because I've not done any caffeine yet. Um, I plan to take like a quick 10 minute break here or so, um, and then continue on. I think this is the last water for a good 10 miles too, so gotta camel up. Mile 5 is in the books. We've gone 19.1 miles, and I know that means we've dipped below the 4 mile average that I'm shooting for, but 
uh, that break was well deserved. I feel refreshed, and the fact that it was, I don't know, I had to do like a little bit of a climb out of that river. I mean, it wasn't that bad. Also, it's really hot. This is like really hot. Um, so I think I'll definitely be able to make up some time once the sun goes down. But we're like at the peak heat of the day. It's 3 p.m. So, you know, just keep putting one foot in front of the other. It's just too hot for me to run right now. So I wish I knew the temperature, it's probably in the 80s. I'm just trying to conserve battery. And honestly, I don't need to know what's going on in the outside world right now. So I'm just here in the basin walking. All right, hour six in the books, four miles this hour. And we are at 23.1 for the challenge. Um, and if anybody knows what the semi nomad cutoff is, I don't know, I keep walking by these signs. S E M I N O E. They also have the California Trail on it, so I guess I've been kind of walking it because I keep seeing these signs. So I don't know what the California Trail is. That's cool. There's also like an Oregon Trail sign back there. So I don't know if they overlap or what's going on. But yeah, that's where it's gotten hotter out here. I'm just waiting for the sun to go down at this point. Because it's hot. And it's hard to keep up a four mile. I'm actually still under four miles per hour average just by like one hour I mean one mile one mile to make up for that um, break I took but I'm planning on taking another break in like seven miles ish because it's a spring so who knows um, I definitely hope to make up some miles that night and hopefully get ahead but yeah on to my hour seven. All right, guys, I just finished hour seven. I took a big break at the stream, so the split was just two miles and 2.3 miles. So, but I feel a lot better now. Um, there's a bit of a breeze, the sun is going down. And I ate some crowbar, two crowbars, and a bag of dummy worms. So I feel really well. And I'm loaded up with water. This is the next for sure water is in 26 miles from here. So I have a liter and a half, so hopefully that would get me there. Otherwise, I don't know. There's also a cache between here and there, but like as I've said, I think the cache is I'm not can't rely on it. So yeah. Past another northbounder, so you know, definitely can't rely on it. So, I guess I'll see you in another hour because I hope to get back on this four mile per hour game. I am officially a third of the way done with the 24 hour challenge, eight hours in, gone about 30 miles just under 30 miles actually, like 29.8 something. Um, so yeah, there's water in a mile. So I definitely need a camel up there and the sun is gonna go down soon hopefully. So it should cool off, which it's been really hot. And I think that's been getting to me. Um, once it cools off, I should hopefully be able to crank back up these miles to at least four, if not faster. But yeah, it's been hot. So yeah, um, it's just under 75 to the road that goes into Rollins or, but you have to hike into Rollins. So it's still like 
about 90 something in Rollins. So, I don't know. Kind of sucks that it's that, but you know, can only do what I can do. And I realized that maybe my body was not in the best shape to do this, but I'm committed to at least the 24 hour challenge. And then I'll hike to the road. And if I'm not already there, and then if I'm not feeling the road walk or whatever, I mean, this is not a road walk, but then I can hitch into town and finish the basin some other time. Another hour and that split was 3.7 roughly. So that puts me just under 27 miles for the challenge. And I'm definitely starting to feel it. Um, the sun, the heat, I think I'm also in desperate need of water because I'm running low, but there's water in four miles. So I should have probably cameled up more back there. So I'll definitely camel up more up here because apparently there's a cache like 15 miles past that, but it's not reliable. So I might be needing water for a lot longer than that. So I'm not gonna rely on that cache. If it's there, it's there. There was a comment yesterday at 10 a.m. saying there was eight liters of water and I've passed at least like, or eight gallons, passed a bunch of hikers going the other direction today. And I know there was a big group that left yesterday going south. So I highly doubt there's gonna be any water there for me, which sucks, but you know, it sucks. Gonna keep hiking now. We have four miles to this water or this spring. So definitely gonna camel up there and then figure out where the next water is and hopefully it'll cool off a bit. Yeah. Okay. Also, this desert is getting really boring. I just look at this. This is all I'm looking at. It's boring. So, yeah. I'm exhausted. All right, that last split was 4.6. So I feel pretty good about that. My hips are once again feeling it. Um, sun going down. I got nothing better to do but walk. This may be stupid, but I'm walking. All right, I realize you can't see me, but I have made it 41 miles, so I'm a third of the way across the basin. It is hour 11, 11 hours in. Um, so, definitely feeling the burn. Um, I'm not gonna turn on my headlamp until I need to, just to save battery, because I don't think it's gonna last through the night. Um, there's a water cache coming up early, and I think I see some headlamps there, so. My guess is the water's all taken, but that's okay. I camelled myself, so I'll be fine. But yeah, um, I don't know what these headlamps are about, but water's in like 0 0.3, 0 0.2 or something. Um, if there's some there, I don't know. But the sun has basically set and yeah. I realize I'm just a ball of light, but I have officially made it 12 hours, 44 miles, which is an average of, I don't know, but we're halfway through with this challenge. This video will go two more hours, the two more check-ins till midnight. 
um, and yeah, the last split was three miles, but the reason why I was so short was because I took a 20 minute water break at that water cache. There was water there, thankfully, and there's a bunch of sobos there, so I gotta talk to a bunch of sobos. A lot of them I knew. All right, another hour, it's 11 o'clock, four more miles, and yeah, I'm really starting to feel it. Um, I feel like I keep saying that. Um, it's just, I don't know. I'm still, wait a second, do I go this way? Hang on. Um, yeah, so I'm really starting to feel it. I might need to change directions here. There's a marker over there. Um, yeah. Um, let me check far out and hike another hour. I'll see you at midnight. All right, squad. It is midnight, and I've gone 51.3 miles. So that's the biggest day I've ever had. Um, it's also the longest day I've ever, ever had. Um... It is currently 68 more miles to Rollins. Um, so, I don't know. Obviously, I can't do that within the next 10 hours of the 24 hour challenge. But, we'll see how far we get tomorrow or today, and then within the 24 hour challenge, and then. We should be able to get to the road, and if we need to bail at the road, we can bail at the road. Um, but yeah, that's that. Um, so I guess stay tuned for tomorrow because I will be continuing on right now. Peace. <laughs>